All right, so it's time for the second elimination. You guys know the drill. You want to stand in a clump, watch the marquee. You want to see your name on the marquee. You want to see your name in the lines. If your name comes up, step out of the group and step to the side. That means you are safe this week. Here we go. Good luck. Steve, you are safe. Joyce, you are still in the cast. Mary, you are still in the cast. Laura, you are still in the cast. Carol, you are still in the cast. Lonnie, you are still in the cast. Holly, you are still in the cast. Julie, you are still in the cast. Devin, Gill, and Fonz, you are our final three. The bottom three this week, squeeze together for me. We'll now look at guest director Michelle Belong's comments about each of you. You'll get your points out of 30. So one of you who scores the lowest points out of 30 will be taking your final bow this week. Good luck. Alfonso. Um, his character was Tattle, or his piece was Tattle. Um, and I gave him a six for preparation. I felt like there really wasn't much new found in the performance from our first rehearsal. What I kind of saw at that initial performance, was, or at that initial rehearsal period, was very much what we saw in the performance. And not that that was bad, it's just that in terms of preparation, I, don't, I think he kind of brought what Alfonso had to the table, and not so much digging any deeper, and I think that's what we want to do, especially with a piece like this, where you can just, boy, well, it's a white canvas, and you can paint anything you want to. Um, Gil, uh, whose personality was no light. Um, Gil had, it really made good. He made a lot of changes from, from what his initial concept was of this character, and I was, I was really excited to see that. Um, I gave him an eight for preparation because he, he totally got the idea that this is uh, her sensuality. This character represents her, her sensual desire, and he totally explored that process. That is not easy. Um, I felt like um, it, it, the one thing I would have really liked to have seen out of him that, he, that I think it was too risky for him is I really wanted to see more, a couple of feminine a attributes. Devin uh, did the character Funny Bird. I felt like he had a really good sense of youth, and, I, and that was something we talked about, is making that character very young, and, and from the very beginning, um, he had a great sense of youth. He, he made an attempt to follow my blocking, but I'm not sure he really understood it. He, he did try a couple of new things. Uh, I, I felt like preparation-wise, I gave him an eight. I thought he did a lot more than what we saw in the initial rehearsal, and he took the guidance and the sketches that were given to him and, and colored within those lines and, and, and did what was asked of himself. Now, professionally, I gave him a seven, because I didn't think he was 100% connected to this material. There was no risk-taking. He suited up, but he didn't throw down. I felt ill-prepared. Uh, I think the judging was fair. Um, I don't know. I was really counting on more people to vote for me, though. I was hoping I'd get past, but what are you going to do? I'm going to... Well, it's been a lot of fun, first of all. I've enjoyed meeting everyone, um, getting to know everyone a little bit. I'd like to get to know everyone a little bit more, but... I would say Gus's bar stool, um, because I can relate to the fact of always being broke and uh, <laughs> you know having certain thoughts that cross through your mind. Although I would never take action on them. I don't know. I mean, the last one was very, very difficult, and uh, I really should have applied more time to preparing. I didn't. And I really enjoyed the rehearsals a lot. Um, and as far as just having to learn them real quick in one day, I mean, I don't know, I'm really lucky. I can memorize things really, really quickly, and so that helps. Um, well, my name didn't come up as quick as it did last week. Uh, that I did not appreciate too much. Uh, I was one of the last ones, so I didn't like that. Um, Fonz got eliminated. I mean, I guess I can keep saying I didn't see that coming every week, and 
Uh, it's going to be true because I didn't see that coming. Um, he got, AC got a 19 out of 30. And if he got a 19 out of 30, I probably got like a 10 out of 30 because Hans did really well and that was a hard piece and he did well with it. And I mean, Michelle's a t it looks like she's a tough, tough critic. So if you got a 19, that made me think I, I was lucky that I didn't get in that bottom three because not only would have been, I would not only would I have lost, it would have been embarrassing how bad I lost because I think there's no doubt in my mind I had I got lower than Alfonso. So I'm just lucky I wasn't in that bottom three. Elimination. Uh, I thought this week I wouldn't be up. I thought this week I wouldn't be up for like elimination because I heard a lot more feedback that we voted for me, but I guess everybody else heard a lot of feedback when we voted for them and maybe they heard more feedback than I did, so just comparison I was just up. Um Michelle DeLong, she's tough. Very tough. Oh it's hard. I mean that's just all there is to it. Do you enjoy the three people that are up there? And, you know, you may not completely agree with what the director had to say about the performance. Um, sometimes you go, wow, were they watching the same thing I was watching? But that's the way it is. That's the way it is in real life.